pulled over for a break on the way to Melbourne from Sydney at a truck stop. No street lights or anything, pitch black. No other trucks or cars at the stop. I turn off my lights. I switch the truck off. Do the curtains. Lock the truck from both sides. Jump into bed. Set my alarm and set my phone above me in the compartment. I was rolling over from side to side for around 5 to 10 minutes, I couldn't get to sleep due to it being prime summer temperatures, reaching around 30 degrees at night. I'm looking up at the ceiling mentally planning out the day ahead, suddenly the passenger side door opens up slightly, cabin light turns on. What the fuck? Now, the truck is fairly a late model and in pristine condition so there's no question about door being faulty or anything. I just sat there for what felt like eternity expecting someone to come up and see me sitting there with the solid rod in my hand that we use for tightening belts. No one came up, nor was there any noise at all. Just quiet, eerie silence. I grabbed my torch and jumped down, walked around the truck. No other trucks were around. Nor were there any cars. It was just me and my fully loaded be double. After around 5 to 10 minutes of getting fucked around with, I locked up and went to bed again. Woke up next morning, yawned, fixed myself up along with the bed. Opened the curtains, and FML there's a cemetery next to the stop where I parked. Hunger and laziness all escaped upon realization, grab keys, fuck putting shoes on, fuck putting pants on, switch truck on and I just got the fuck out of there ASAP. My boyfriend is a truck driver who routinely does midnight runs. Oddly enough I asked him this question myself a few days ago. He told me that one night he getting ready to park in a lot next to a truck stop. He said it looked like there was no lights, no cars, no sign of anyone but he said screw it, he was tired. He woke up the next morning parked on the side of the road with three highway patrol vehicles behind him. He was about 15 miles away from the truck stop he parked at. Thing is, he was sleeping in his camper the whole night. He has no idea how he got on the side of the road and logic says someone tried stealing the truck and succeeded. And the police convinced him of this happening as they saw a man in a black jumpsuit running away from his truck into a nearby field. Even then, he still feels uneasy about the whole situation. Apparently the doors were still locked from the inside and there was no real sign of anyone trying to break in. My brother was a truck driver in the 90s slash early 2000s. He just told me this story a few months ago. He was driving through Pennsylvania on way back to NJ. He pulled over the side of the road behind two other trailers. In the early morning, he heard someone bang on his right door, he quickly jumps from the sleeping compartment and grabs his bat. As he looks out the window, there's no one there but now there's a bang on the left side. Freaked out he looks out that window and there's nothing but silence now. He's trying to figure out WTF is going on, seconds later banging on both doors simultaneously. He said the banging was so loud and heavy the truck was shaking. Both curtains open, he can see there's no one out there. He quickly jumps in the driver's seat and starts the truck, he sees the other two trucks ahead of him do the same. He said he felt as if they all had experienced the same thing. Story from my grandpa who was a long haul trucker after the mining boom in Alberta. He drove mostly long haul through the US and has lots of crazy stories. He pulled up to a truck stop next to another truck. This guy in the other truck had a pit bull that with him and would tie it outside the truck. My grandpa walked by and the pit bull lunged at him, protecting the territory. Meanwhile the Sharif or some kind of law enforcement rolls up and walks by the truck and the dog lunges at him too. Grandpa gets out of the truck and as soon he does the cop takes his gun out and blows the dog's head off. He said it was one of the most disturbingly things he ever saw. Thank you all so much for watching, if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button below, and I'll see you all in the next video.